Communication is a vital aspect of any social interaction, and dogs have developed a sophisticated nonverbal language to express their feelings and intentions. One fascinating aspect of canine communication is the concept of calming signals. These subtle body language cues play a crucial role in diffusing tense situations and resolving conflicts among dogs. In this article, we will explore the significance of calming signals, their role in canine communication, and common examples of these signals that can help us better understand and interact with our furry companions. Understanding Calming Signals Calming signals are a set of nonverbal cues that dogs use to alleviate tension and prevent or de-escalate potential conflicts. They serve as a way for dogs to communicate their desire for peaceful interactions and diffuse potentially stressful situations. Calming signals are not limited to specific breeds or individual dogs, but are a universal language understood by canines across different social groups. Role of Calming Signals in Conflict Resolution Preventing Conflict Escalation Dogs use calming signals as a proactive measure to prevent conflicts from escalating. By employing these signals, they effectively communicate their intention to avoid confrontation and maintain a harmonious social environment. Signaling friendliness and non-threatening intentions. Calming signals convey a dog's friendly and non-threatening intentions to other dogs or humans. They serve as a way to reassure others and establish a sense of trust, which can help diffuse potential conflict and facilitate positive interactions. Common calming signals. Turning away. When a dog turns its head or body away from another dog or person, it signals a desire to disengage from the situation. This is a clear indication that the dog is not interested in confrontation and would rather avoid conflict. Sniffing the ground. Sniffing the ground, particularly in a deliberate and exaggerated manner, is another calming signal. This behavior can divert attention, diffuse tension, and serve as a distraction from potential conflicts. Yawning. A dog yawning, especially when it is not tired, is often a calming signal. Yawning in this context is not a sign of fatigue but a way for dogs to communicate their desire to reduce stress and anxiety in the environment. Lip licking. Dogs may lick their lips as a way to alleviate tension and communicate their intention to calm the situation. It is essential to differentiate between lip licking as a calming signal and lip licking due to anxiety or discomfort. Play bow. The play bow is a classic calming signal that dogs use to indicate their friendly and non-threatening intentions. It is an invitation for play and signals a desire for positive social interactions. Conclusion. Understanding and recognizing calming signals in dogs is crucial for effective communication and conflict resolution. By familiarizing ourselves with these nonverbal cues, such as turning away, sniffing, yawning, lip licking, and play bows, we can better comprehend and respond to our canine companion's needs. Being attentive to these signals allows us to create a safe and supportive environment, fostering positive interactions and minimizing conflicts. Remember, respecting and responding appropriately to dogs' calming signals helps to establish trust, strengthen bonds, and enhance our relationships with these incredible creatures. In addition to the previously mentioned calming signals, there are several other nonverbal cues that dogs use to communicate their desire for conflict resolution. One such signal is the softening of body posture. Dogs may choose to relax their muscles, lower their tails, and exhibit a more relaxed body position as a way to signal their non-threatening intentions. This change in posture is a powerful indicator that the dog is attempting to diffuse any tension and create a more peaceful atmosphere. It is important to note that calming signals are not exclusive to interactions between dogs. Dogs also employ these signals when communicating with humans. By recognizing and respecting their calming signals, we can create a trusting and positive relationship with our furry companions. For example, if a dog turns away or yawns during a training session, it may indicate that they are feeling overwhelmed or stressed. By acknowledging their signals and adjusting our approach, we can alleviate their discomfort and create a more effective and enjoyable training experience. As responsible dog owners, it is our responsibility to educate ourselves about canine communication, 
including calming signals. By doing so, we can actively contribute to a safe and harmonious environment for our dogs. It is crucial to avoid forcing interactions, respecting their boundaries, and allowing them the space they need to feel comfortable. By recognizing and responding appropriately to their calming signals, we can strengthen the bond with our canine companions and create a relationship based on trust, understanding, and mutual respect. Remember, effective communication goes beyond words, and by attuning ourselves to the subtle language of calming signals, we can become better companions to our beloved dogs.